It's time to give your home a good spring cleaning and our guest today is here to show us how to do it without using harsh chemicals that can be harmful to the environment. Amy Shaw is here from an eco-friendly company called Planet People. Welcome back. Thank you. So it is true this is when you really get the urge you want to open up the windows and just let out all that stale winter air and clean everything up. Definitely, you know, everyone's top of mind to, you know, do that deep clean, but at the same time, you want to avoid all those chemicals. And right. So I'm going to give tips on three different areas. So we have our decks, we have our cars that we want to give a good clean, and then in our homes. Okay. So we'll start with our decks. All right. So after a long, muggy winter, often you'll see a lot of um, dirt and um, grime accumulate, but also we'll see a lot of mold and mildew. Like this one here. Yeah. yeah look it's at disgusting. That. <laughs> <laughs> and so what do you do? And a lot of people resort to bleach, right? Okay. Uh, but bleach actually is beyond being super toxic can actually damage a lot of your plants and a lot of the around the, the deck around right. the deck and then as well it could discolor and blanch the the color of your deck so okay. it could really ruin um, the value you put into that right so you want to look for eco solutions um, definitely to to avoid that kind of um, okay so issue. what's gonna get that mold out though that isn't so harsh so there is a new product out in the market it just came out at Home Depot this week actually it's called Concrobia mold stain eraser okay, and it's a new on. product that actually just targets the mold and mildew stains um, without using any like harsh chemicals it actually has chemicals that um, eco solutions basically that uh, biodegrade to water and oxygen so you don't have okay. any residues left on the surface so you let it sit on there for a while so all you do is you mix the two parts so the two part solution um, with some warm water mix it into one of these um, sprayers and then you just spray the surface Okay. Just, just easily like that. You'll notice that with it, no scrubbing or anything afterwards, the deck will go from this. Oh, this is before and after. Before okay. and after, before. yeah. After. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll get that um, that the, the, the original look back. Right. Um, and it'll eliminate all the mold and mildew stains. Great. Okay. Now in the car, this is something a lot of people want to know about because your car mats and the carpeting just gets all gross with the salt from the road. Definitely. And you know, all, all those stains, like you, you often again, you want to resort to those chemicals, right? Right. And uh, you could get lots of eco cleaners are on the market now. And I'll, I'll do a little quick demonstration, okay. but you'll see right away this product deeply penetrates and we'll get rid of all that just absorb it so okay. this product is fantastic at taking out salt stains and something to look for you know pe people find it hard to find eco cleaners that actually work yeah. I would recommend looking at reviews online okay. um, but as also if you want to make sure it's actually to uh, non-toxic look for warning statements or um, that kind of thing like right. on the front if there are warning statements right. across a uh, hand with the skull yeah the <laughs> <laughs> that's a clear indication that maybe it's, there's some greenwashing going on right. and that the product actually isn't um, as non-toxic as it claims okay all right so let's talk about some general in the house cleaning now so one of the big tips that I, I would recommend is looking at your carpets and doing a deep clean. After a long winter, you're going to get a lot of dust, grime, and even mold and mildew accumulation yep. in that carpet. So I would go to your home improvement shop locally, um, like a Home Depot, and pick up uh, a carpet cleaning machine. It makes a huge difference to you'll you'll see it. Like I, right. I've done a, well, the first time I did a clean, I took out the water and it was disgusting. It was so yeah, dirty. I know, I've seen that. And so a product that you can use it with that is like a non-toxic solution um, called is under the gloves offline too. It's called Carpet Care. Okay. Okay. No foaming agents required, so you don't actually have to like buy a separate foaming um, product. Okay. Um, it, it works. There's no residues. Uh, the carpet stays clean, and it makes a huge difference. Okay. As well as you, if you buy this product, the gloves off or a stain remover in general. Um, it, you can pre-treat the stains. So this for is like, like wine. Terrible spots. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's perfect for those kind of um, okay. those kind of products. Okay, great. Another um, quick thing you could do is disinfecting. Um, definitely, people are often using like ammonia or bleach again. Yep. There are time and oregano-based um, solutions. One of them I know is um, through the Gloves Offline, which is um, the disinfectant. It's Health Canada approved to disinfect. Okay. So this is um, for like bathtubs, toilets, sinks. Yep, exactly. Okay. All right, so this, okay, so very good. So what makes it safe then without the harsh chemicals? So the thyme and oregano, really? Yeah, it's a known, it's a proven um, a disinfectant. And so, it, I mean, you could smell this. It's oh. actually, <laughs> it's pretty potent in the sense that like they, it, it's pretty strong, but at the mm -hmm. same time it has the botanical oh, yeah. formula. Medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All definitely. Right. All good ideas. And people can pick these up at Home Depot or any hardware store? Yep, at Home Depot. Um, you can pick up all these products. Okay, some good tips to get out there and get spring cleaning. Thanks so much, Amy. Um, We're going to take a break now. Ahead in sports highlights from Game 3 of the